Thanks, guys. I got a couple of guests. Uh, I forgot something I got to grab. Hold on real quick. But um, Rob Andringa's mom, Phyllis, is here. And then uh, his dad, Doc Andringa. I might have a hard time not crying today. Uh, so if I do, don't hold it against me. But uh, And then we wanted to have Ryan and his family here as well. Obviously, he's a little busy uh, down in Dallas, but we're really lucky to have uh, Garrett and uh, Garrett Stewart and his family here uh, representing Bobby Souter. So um, just give me one sec to you all that for me, Doc. I forgot something. Hold on, you guys. It's not a funeral. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Beautiful. That's how we're going to handle Beautiful. it. So. This is where I might get a little emotional. Um, I'm glad Brando introduced it the way he did. I got a speech here, and I probably won't get through it. But uh, there's a lot of pride in uh, in this organization here, and I'm glad that he's touching on that, and the staff is touching on that. The history of it, you guys. And so I asked Brando if it was okay on your guys' first day with your journey if we brought the cup in to honor Bobby Souter and Rob Andrina. And uh, you guys don't know them, but Bobby started this organization after the 1980 Olympics, shortly after, because he loved kids and he wanted to give kids every opportunity in the Madison area to succeed, whether it was at the youth level or whether it was somebody like me, you guys, who played double A. I didn't make AAA teams, you know, played high school, and then I kind of was a late bloomer, and I got to play in the USHL. So I, I was a part of this organization for one year. The lessons I learned that year from having Bobby Suter as my GM and Rob Andering as my coach, I carry with me every, every day. And I get to work with the prospects in Vegas, and so many times – I catch myself saying things that they'd say. There was no puck practices at times where, you know, I hated Rob Andringa on those Monday mornings because we went for an hour and a half and and, and we didn't see a puck. Not because we lost, but because we didn't load the bus as a team, because we didn't go out for warm-ups as a team. And he said, until you get that right, you're not a winner. So my gift to them, because I know they're smiling down. I mean, guys, it's going to be like 95 on Saturday, right? Like, it's perfect outside today, right? That just doesn't happen. So these guys, you know, Bobby Studer, Coach Andringer, they're helping from up top orchestrate this beautiful day. My way of saying thank you to them, honoring them, passing it on to you guys, right, with what you guys do is to bring you the greatest trophy in, in sports. I tell you, I know Andy Brandt, okay? No, knew him as a player. And I know, obviously, Tommy Gilbert one of my favorite players I ever coached. I, guys, I'll, I'll give you the cheat sheet right now. Compete. Compete. If you follow Andy Brandt's history or Tommy Gilbert's history, you'll, you'll see if you really look at it, they weren't given anything. They weren't given anything. People today might say, well, they're, maybe they're a little old school. That's okay. That's okay because too many kids today, they just want it all for free. They want it all easy. You guys want to climb, you guys want to be successful, and whatever you do, whatever you do, work, compete. And I promise you these guys are going to, they're going to demand that out of you. Embrace it. And those Monday mornings when you think you hate their guts, you're going to look back in your 30s and 40s and be like, man, Coach Brandt, Coach Gilbert, their whole staff, they help shape who I am. They help shape who I am. I'm so glad you guys could be here for that. I'm sorry I broke down, but hopefully I represented... Oh, fair represented. Okay. This kid's got a great attitude. Yeah, they do. Yeah. That's right, tried to. Oh. You probably, you probably don't remember some of those, but yeah, there were some Mondays where I hated them. Oh, not really, but man. Yeah. Yeah. But. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about Guys, that. just one more piece of advice. Barry Trott said this once. I loved it when uh, I worked with him in Washington. It's not his saying, but he uses it all the time. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. And in this league, you can get selfish. 
do I have my scholarship? Am I going to get drafted? There can be some of that me. Individual success will come with team success. I can promise you. Play in this league, coach in this league, an assistant as a head. So you guys want to go far as a team, and you will also go far as a, as a player. Okay? Scouts like to go where the teams are good. Doesn't mean they don't go to bad teams. Doesn't. But there's usually a correlation. While that team's good, they're loaded up with some players. So you guys take care of each other first. All right? Don't worry about yourself. Take care, take care of the guy that you're sitting next to. Something Coach Andring would have us do. He'd have us hold hands for a game. You know, don't let that guy down that you're holding hands with. You're playing for something else, something bigger than you. And you do that here and in life, you're going to be awesome. You're, you're, you're gonna, and you're going you're gonna to enjoy it so much more. So much more.